we're looking at is identifying the amount of equipment we need and corresponding earth connection that will uh, deliver back the heat that is lost per hour on the coldest winter day. We identify that by looking at every material that is the house is built out of, how many square feet of a given space collectively throughout the house, uh, is there an exposed foundation outside, uh, how many doors and windows, uh, how, what does the national weather data say, and we feed that all into a piece of software that thereafter spits out a, a, a calculation that says, okay, the living room needs this much on the coldest day. Uh, the main part of the house needs this much on the coldest day. The upstairs bedrooms need this much. That tells us collectively what the whole house needs. Once I know how much equipment I need to serve X amount of BTUs in the winter or in the summer, that dictates how much earth coupling I need. One of the biggest issues we find on geo applications in New England is that people don't always put in the, uh, the ideal amount of earth coupling. Uh, they often will try to save money on the install, which is absolutely understandable, and they'll sort of, well, you need this much to get the equipment to run like it was in the laboratory when it got that rating of X. But gee, you know, it's very expensive, and you, you know, you want, you're trying to get me to save some money here, I'll shorten that up a little bit. Your earth connection, whether it's a loop like it is in this case, or an open system, is a permanent radiator in the ground. And that radiator has to be matched, have the right amount of capacity to serve X amount of heat pump tonnage. So if I, uh, if I undersize that radiator, that system may still run, especially when it's not really, really cold or really, really hot. But as I get closer and closer to that capacity day, that earth connection is going to become less and less thermally effective because it's smaller than it needs to be. So one of the big things that Water Energy is known for uh, among our partners is that we're very square-headed about that design. And when we provide design support, whether it's through a heat loss calculation or uh, to size the earth coupling associated with that heat loss, we tend to be, well, look, you know, yeah, you could do it for that, but you're not going to get the result that that unit promises because you have departed from the temperatures of exchange that they used in the laboratory when they rated that unit. So that's really the critical piece for us.